Hello everyone, Matthew97657 here, and today we are back with yet another figure unboxing and review. And, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title suggestion, this is going to be the Movie Monster Series Limited Edition uh, Retro Color Hedora, or just Heavy Hot Pink uh, Hedora. I don't know if it's retro, I know that that one goes to the guy again, but anyways, he's pink. Uh, you're very hot pink, almost like the Shin, uh, the Shin figure that they released a while ago. But with that, nothing more to it, and then get on right on into it. So, as you may see from the two letters here, uh, this comes from DHL. I did purchase this figure from Hobby Genki, a website I have not purchased from before, but I decided to give it, uh, give it a shot. I'm actually trying to like, not in a sense order from every website I have been through. But, like, I'm trying to get, like, an idea of, like, what the, the better ones, in my opinion, are. Not to say that any of them are worse or whatever, but uh, some of them, uh, it might be, uh, like, a shipping price that might, you know, just kind of come up on you. Or uh, shipping in general, uh, just like, oh, they take a little bit longer to ship compared to other people. But nonetheless, that's on a completely different note, so we won't get there until we get there. So let's go ahead and start unpacking our guy here. So we have our trusty knife, and I mean, you guys know the the Bandai drill, right? Uh, Bandai is something too much uh, like to review besides me talking about them. There's no articulate. There's a lack of articulation. But obviously, you're not buying it for articulation, right? Right. Uh, anyways, uh, so we'll go ahead and open our bad boy here. We're all here for the limited uh, version stuff. You know me, so. All right, looks like we got our box here. I'm gonna set my knife gently down right over there. And with that, I'm gonna have my box here and I'm just gonna pull it out so you guys get the first look at it. Oh, you can kind of see him bleeding through. All right, we're gonna take him out. We're gonna leave him right there. I'm just gonna make sure nothing else is in here. Nope, nothing else, just an empty box. So he was nicely wrapped. I really like how he was wrapped like this. Um, uh, props to Hobby Genki, first time uh, shopper. So we'll uh, we'll see. I mean, for a Bandai figure, it's like you just wrap it and you ship it, right? But uh, ta-da! Boom! There he is. Uh, and wait for it. Boom! There is the actual big reveal there. So this is the Bandai Limited Movie Monster Series. Hedora from the 72 film, no, I'm sorry, 71 film, uh, and yeah, as you can see, uh, there's, <laughs> he looks really cool, actually, I really, every time I get these, uh, uh, Movie Monster Series figures, they always just, like, for the most part, they always kind of blow me away, unless it's a little lackluster, but not in this case, he looks really cool, so we'll start off the tag, tag him in a really good condition, so which is very nice, right? Uh, he looks very, uh, neon-ish, like, or like if he saturated an image, like look at that, right? He looks really, really saturated, but as you can see, uh, Hedora, let's see, Hedora something version, uh, I'm not sure what that version is, 2022, at least off the top of my head, right? And then we have our tag, which is pretty much Japanese, some of the stuff there and then over here so godzilla versus hedora bandai namco with the new updated logo and then movie monster series and yeah bandai and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just have you guys get a good look at him because this is what it's all about here video won't be too long but uh we'll see how far i get right so boom, boom. and as you may see i do have a new uh display shelf so uh the other one is no more, so that's uh, good. I kind of, I kind of was in need of better shelving, in my opinion. But look at this guy. I want to get all the light refraction as I can, right? So it, like it looks a little, it looks like purpley, which it is. And then you kind of come in dark. You kind of come closer, and it's a lot darker with some of those silver uh, paint apps as well along the whole body. Right, so we got on the side of the body, we got it on the back here, we have it especially on the front and the face, and then it kind of bleeds in with the arm, with the purple as well. So those are the three main colors of this figure, right? We have the pink mold, 
and then we have the silver and then the uh, purple, which are all uh, metallic uh, colors, which really uh, make it look nice. I think uh, just off of this one, I, I'm really liking this one. It's popping like a lot. Like it's it's definitely like a, like once you walk in the room, like this, this guy has kind of got your attention, right? So uh, that's about it, right? Uh, the bottom of him, just kind of there, the tail, more purple highlights with silver, uh, with silver fade at the end, or I guess that would be the highlight, right? The silver there, and then just like some purple bleed through. So very, very nice. I really do like this. I'm very happy with this. I would love to compare him with the Geigen uh, 50th anniversary retro color version, but I have not gotten him in yet from Awesome Collector. If I'll be honest, I was actually supposed to order both of these from Hobby Genki. Probably I should have just ordered both of them from the same website, so then I wouldn't have this issue. But hey, you learn a lesson, right? So uh, once the retro color version Geigen does uh, make its way here, I will compare the two because they were kind of like revealed in that Godzilla store showcase back in May. Uh, I want to say it was May. Um, so unfortunate, and I apologize for that, but uh, we do have him at least right now, right? So with that, I'm going to go ahead and compare him with his two other limited uh, movie monster series counterparts that have been made. These were made uh, last year for the 50th anniversary of Fedora. So we're going to start with the, uh, I, I want to say this one is the retro color version. Like, uh, I might be incorrect though, but as you can see here, right, just completely different. We have the eyes, uh, you can see, uh, this one is pupil, I, I think, cause I think the inner part is the iris, but I think it's his pupil, right? There are the actual eye, uh, is red, kind of like if he's firing his beam from his eyes. Um, so that's cool compared to the yellow here, but, uh, just the color, right? They kind of have the same uh, paint applications going on. This is just a pink body, but as you can see, right, where the blue is is where the purple is, and where the silver is is where the purple is on this figure. So I'm sure they just went with the same applications of paint there. But nonetheless, both these guys look great together, as you can see. Uh, a lot of this metallic-y coloration on the Hedoras, I think, work well. And if I had to give a reason why, I honestly really couldn't tell you. I think that they just work well enough to where uh, it works on Hedorah, you know? So very cool, right? And then uh, secondly, our last comparison will be the Burning Hedorah from the exhibition they had in December of 2021 to kind of finish off the year for the 50th anniversary of Godzilla vs. Hedorah. And as you can see here... Uh, We've kind of got like an orange punch type of vinyl compared to the hot the hot pink here, like a highlighter pink, right? This is more like a, like I said, dang, I don't even remember what I said. It's kind of like a sunset in a way, but uh, the eyes are different once again, as you can see, different color of paint. And then on this one, uh, it's kind of more uh, subtle, the paint job on him compared to him, right? Uh, the, the metallic colors are popping out, but on this one, it's kind of like more of a, uh, I don't want to say a wash, but it's kind of more subtle, like I said, right? It's not just boom, uh, on your face, but there is some metallic paint apps as well. So looking at both of these, right, uh, they're very cool standing next to each other. You have two different iterations, and this is where we see the, the metallic, right? This one has purple, and then this one kind of has a yellow gold, but, uh, same mold and everything. Uh, they did make a new... Hedorah mold last year, which this is not it, I believe, if I'm correct, but uh, no, very cool nonetheless, right? So uh, that's really going to uh, wrap it up for this one here. I'm going to go ahead and bring out the other one. So with this, we have three limited movie monster series Hedorah figures now. We have the retro color version, I believe. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just call this guy hot pink. I'm very sorry. It is super late. And I've been waiting to record this video, so please bear with me. But uh, our, our newest one here, and then this is the Burning burning Hedorah version from the exhibition. So very cool. Will we see more of this guy? Who knows, right? Uh, Hedorah has definitely been a, a rise in popularity amongst the fans. From what? I, I wouldn't know. But compared to how it was before, he kind of was looked down upon, especially the film in general. But 
uh, with the 50th anniversary, honestly, it kind of uh, spiked popularity. Like I said, uh, uh, what is the perception of the movie has kind of changed. You know, we went from people hating on uh, Bono's film to calling Bono like uh, a legend ahead of his time. So it's very interesting to see how perception, perception changes through time. Uh, if you like this movie, let me know. If it's not uh, one of your favorites, you can also let me know, right? Uh, it's, you know, people are allowed to uh, enjoy something and people are allowed to, you know, just not enjoy something. But that doesn't mean one should attack one another for liking or just not liking it. So I, I trust you guys uh, with your perceptions. So uh, if you're a big fan of the Hedorah films, the Hedora film, if you're a big fan of Hedora in general, uh, let me know if you guys picked any of these guys up. Uh, let me know also if you think that they're going to keep making the limited movie monster series of him with this mold. Uh, or do you think it's time to move on? We've got Gigan, we've got Megalon next year. So very, very interesting stuff, right? Oh my goodness, it never ends. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you for being patient with this guy. And I will thank you for being patient with Gigan, although he should have been here uh, last month, I believe. I guess uh, they have some shipping problems, which is A-OK, -okay, right? As long as we get them, then we'll be set. So uh, once again, lastly, like I always do, thank you guys so much for watching. See ya.